Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to my channel. Today I am doing a fall look that is pretty much just olive and plum. Since everybody on YouTube has been in love with the cranberry, I am refusing to do a cranberry look since you can literally Google that and find it in eight different skin tones. Um, the lipstick of choice is ColourPop with the lip pencil Nevermind and Guess and I busted out the Artist Palette from Anastasia Beverly. And I also did some colors from the BH Cosmetics Smoky Palette, but you guys know that's my go-to palette every time I can't find a color. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. And as usual, you can see the list of products and pictures on my blog. Everything will be in, in the description box. Let's get started. So I'm going to be creating a base with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Just giving myself a base on the lid just because that's where the olive green is going to go and that's where I want it to shine more. I'm going to take the Anaconda from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette that I was showing you guys earlier and I'm just focusing it on my lid. You don't have to go all the way from your inner tear duct to your outer V but keep it mainly focused on the first part of your lids. Then I'm going to take the olive green from the BH Cosmetics palette, the Smoky Eye palette, and I'm going to apply that over it. I'm next going to take the Cranberry Red from the Smoky Eye palette, start putting it in my corner and bringing it up above the crease line. I'm just trying to give it some dimension. I'm going to take the Blue Velvet from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm putting that focusing mainly on the outer V. I'm going to bring it in a little bit for blending purposes but for the most part this is staying as the outer V color and just winging it out pretty much. And I'm blending as I'm going just to make sure no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take some Punch Fuchsia from the same palette and blend it over my lid and I'm really just going to be blending it out. And then I take my Dance in the Tides like I always do as my transition color and blend out the top line. Again, no harsh lines, that way it just looks like a smooth transition. I'm next taking my favorite foundation right now which is the Stay Better Clear Skin Foundation from Maybelline. I've already used my e.l.f. liner by the way and I'm just blending this out with my Real Techniques Buffer Buffer brush. I feel like this is the best brush for this. Um, even though sometimes the stippling brush also, but I just like the finish of the buffer brush right now. Just putting that all over my face and just pretty much blending it out. Um, I love this foundation. I don't even need to use concealer. Um, it's completely buildable and I'm just 100% in love with it right now. Next, I'm using the Sephora Gel Concealer. Um, I forgot the name, but I'll leave that, you know, in the description of my blog, so just check that out later. And I'm doing my typical highlight, but what I'm doing now, I'm using my finger. I feel like my under eye concealers blend so much better when I'm using my clean finger and just doing the tapping motion um, and just blending it in like that. I used to do it like that all the time, and then I got obsessed with beauty blenders, but I feel like I'm going back to my old habits, and I just feel like I get a smoother finish I don't get the lines or anything like that and I'm just putting the excess on my nose on my forehead on my cupid's bow and I'm going in with a little extra just to reemphasize that because I'm not wearing or where this look does not require blush or bronzer so it's just a highlight kind of stroby I guess next I'm gonna set it with my NYX translucent setting spray or setting powder sorry and I'm just gonna let it bake Taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder like I always do, I'm going over all the places where it's not baking. And I used my flat powder brush first and then I took my fluffy powder brush and cleared up all the excess. I used my Ardell 120 lashes and once I got those on I'm using my Jordana um, Cream Eyeliner Pencil. It's in purple. You don't have to use this one. but. This is the one that I'm favoring, and this is what I'm tight lining my eye with. And then I'm going to be going in with the Aborigine from the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be pretty much, I guess, blending it out, smudging it a little bit. In my tear ducts, I'm using Beige Lee from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, you guys know I love me some inner, inner tear duct highlight. It's just, it's my usual look. I can't really anything else about it 
Then I'm going in with my favorite mascara right now, which is the L'Oreal Miss Manga. You guys, again, another staple in my collection. I really haven't veered away from this product since I bought it, even though I am thinking about trying some new ones. Next, I'm going in with the ColourPop Lip Pencil in Nevermind. This is from their 2015 Fall Collection. Um, I got the pencil instead of the lipstick just because um, I feel like Guess and Nevermind are pretty much the same color. So I just wanted the lip liner. And then I'm going in with the lovely Guess, which is just this beautiful, sultry plum color that I think is perfect for this look and for fall. And I'm just tracing it around my lips. I'm not going outside of my lip line, which is very important. So that's another thing you should take into account. So yeah, just take your time, build it if you need to. I always find that I have to go in with an extra little bit sometimes on the fattest part of my lip. But here's the finished look. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's what I consider very fall. I'm thinking about doing a um, orange brown look that should be coming up probably next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the other videos. Check the description box for details. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.